Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we have a video I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Everyone did it yesterday, so I'm doing it today. I'm very, very tired because it is currently 2 a.m. that I'm recording this because I was just playing Fortnite with some mates. I recorded all of that, so I'm going to try to chop that down and put it on another channel. Um, I have another Fortnite video coming out on this channel slash another channel where you'll see more Fortnite content, so be on the lookout for that in the next couple days. But let's talk about Cardfight Vanguard Zero. Don't know why I said it like that. I'm just a friggin' moron. All right, let's talk about this. Cardfight Vanguard Zero, just in case you don't know, is the mobile game. You know, this wonderful thing. That's a phone. I'm just, like, beating on my Galaxy S9. I should probably not do that. All right, so after eight years of Vanguard... We are getting, well, a mobile game. Uh, I don't know if any of you were part of the Fortnite Online Beta. I was. Phenomenal game. But this game is going to be somewhat drastically different than that and the reg regular card game. And I have some theories I'll share at the end, which will also be explored in another video. Let's start this off. We get three forms of modes. We get the story mode. Play through the anime story, the original, so the Vanguard Zero series as it's now labeled by Bushiro and the fan base, which is... Technically, all of seasons one through three, and technically four, and then five is a spinoff. I don't know. You have the versus mode, play against others, and then the My Room feature, which you make your own unique room where you can interact with the characters. <coughs> uh, during story mode, you'll enjoy the story through the usage of anime images, BMGs, and live 2D models. Something similar to this. And like every other trading card m game out there that is digital. Um, uh, let's see. In the versus mode, you can compete for points in ranked fights. You can fight with your friends in, a, in the room fight. And events are planned for the future. So this is sort of what the game layout's going to look like. Um, one notable big thing um, that we're hoping that is, and I think that, um, what's it called, Duel Links does it, but they have championships with Duel Links, which is, an, which is a Yu-Gi-Oh! variant of the game, which is somewhat different. Uh, a lot of people are hoping that the Card Fight Vanguard mobile game will have its own tournament and stuff that you can participate in. That would be super cool. Worldwide events, get invited to regionals, nationals, and stuff like that. Um, another theory coming out on that later. Um, the My Room, which is this, it allows you to interact with the characters from the anime, de uh, design it with, uh, three models like this. So, that's gonna be really cool. Um, as I stated, you can customize your room using 3D characters and furniture. More characters and costumes are planned for the future. That will be really cool. I can't wait for next year. Hopefully we'll get some, like, really cute Halloween costumes on our characters. Uh... Collection of changes from Vanguard to Vanguard Zero, or collection of changes. Uh, so these are where the big important things start taking place. Grade Zeros do not exist in this game besides your starter, which starters do have unique effects. Uh, you cannot guard with cards in your hand besides perfect guards, which have their own requirements. All all units have 5,000 shield and are grade, and grade 3 units are trigger units. Um, when you take damage, when your vanguard takes damage, power, power equal to the shield valued of the card placed into your damage zone. So you gain power equal to its shield, which every unit's five. Uh, you must attack units with the intercept before attacking your vanguard. So it's like taunt or a handful of other names and other games. Uh, most abilities are faithful to their original, but some have been adjusted I would assume that's because of grade zeros and stuff that need to be adjusted for that uh, new system. Cards you drive check are not added to your hand, but go to the drop zone instead, which I'm not sure how I feel about that because you do lose hand size. Um, from what I understand, you're also keep we're also keeping in draw, heal, critical, and stand triggers like the original four. Um, I really don't know how drive checks are gonna work if they're not added to your hand because that literally makes them useless slash pointless and it only benefits grand blue players that can manipulate the drop zone 
Um, and then there was a handful of cards revealed, like Blossom Magus, which is your starter, which will return to deck. Um, we had Death Army Lady, which you really can't see because of the terrible screenshots from the stream. We have Dancing Wolf, which I don't know if that's just another screenshot of Dancing Lady. Uh, you have Battle Razor, which is another starter. You got Battle Sisters galore. And wh whoever that guy is, I know I own a couple copies of him. Um, Oracle Wiseman, which was, I believe, that guy, right? Yeah. Just terrible screenshots. Um, yeah, we got a bunch. We got some cards revealed. So the reason why this game has been altered to the way it is is... Um, it's meant to be a quick 10 minute match. You know, mobile games are meant to have quick aspects to them that you're able to play like on your ride to school or on your commute to work if you take the bus, the train, or you carpool and you're not driving. Obviously don't play the game if you're driving. It's just meant to be quick. I have a couple theories. I feel like they're gonna start off with this, try to get players introduced to it. Um, there's a lot of theories that a lot of the other clans and stuff will be added to this game but what i'm hoping they'll do is give us an option to play original vanguard as in you know like here's a warning this is the time limit or not a time limit but this is this game can take upwards to this long do you have time to play that would be really cool in my opinion if so later down the line as they added more series and stuff they give us an option to build slash play with decks that are um our original based which would be really cool so this is very different from a lot uh these are the different locations you can test the game and get these awesome trigger these awesome uh force marks from um as an overall i'm really looking forward to this there's even a crafting system so you don't have to buy booster packs after booster packs um one thing that different fight brought up was the fact that in the trailer, it shows that other clans will be added in as the game goes along. So he's wondering if this will be the similar booster box we'll get because and unlock other ones as we go. But that's all I really got for you guys. I just wanted to update you for the people that don't watch other channels, which you should go check out Different Fight, MCO40, Solemn Vanguard. They've all reported it on already. They're super awesome channels. I watch all of them. That I They help me stay up to date. Um, past that, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you excited for this? Or are you disappointed with it? What the game's becoming? Also, one thing I didn't go over because I didn't see it in here. Maybe I just forgot. Oh, hey, look at Promise Starter. I didn't see her earlier. Um. Okay, so Batter Sister Shock a lot. She's a perfect guard with the Sentinel ability. Hand when your Vanguard is attacked and will be hit. If one of the two conditions are met. Perfect Guard will be active. If you have three or more damage, or if your opponent has two or more criticals after the drive check. So, uh, Twin Blader will also show up to be the Nova Grappler Perfect Guard. I'm going to make a quick judgment. I'm not a fan of how the second skill works for Perfect Guards in this game. Now, granted, I like it and I don't like it. And the reason I say that is because for the simplistic reason... When I play Vanguard, I hate anything that interrupts after the uh, drive checks, which there isn't anything to my current knowledge that like just completely outright nullifies trigger checks and um, uh, drive trigger checks. Uh, this game also has very little interaction on your opponent's turn, which will be a killer for some people. But that's about it, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Again, guys, I say this at the end of every video. I'm going to keep saying it. I have a bunch of giveaways going on when we break certain milestones. If we break 1,000 by the middle of October, I am tripling all of my giveaways. I went from a $40 gift card to a $50 gift card. I went from giving away one to giving away three. And I'm giving away three booster boxes. And... Yeah, I have other giveaways that I always state, like at 100 subscribers, I gave away gift marks or commons and stuff like that. So please, if you guys could, ultra plus smash that like button. That was a My Hero Academia reference that I forced and was terrible. Just come on, critically smash into that like button. 
repetitively stand that subscribe button. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Please just subscribe, like, comment down below what you want to see more of, what you guys think of this game. And, guys, the next video, either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, I haven't decided when, but one of those days will be, unless there's more major news that takes precedence, will be my thoughts on Ezel. And I'm even going to record it tomorrow just in case they release Ezel so I can release the video prior and then release the actual skill of Ezel. So please, just smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And that's about it, guys. Until next time, I've been the Solar Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.